he's a healthy, good-looking howler monkey. Totally routine, everything went perfectly. We are looking at the skull, so he's laying on his side. The trick for the veterinarian is it is very easy for this tube to accidentally go down into this airspace. So in the howler monkey, it takes a little bit of extra finesse and manipulation to be sure you get the tube into their trachea. Here's the point of his head, that's his nose, his teeth, that's the endotracheal tube that's in helping him breathe. The things that are really unique about this animal have to do with the jaw and his airways. So his jaw, the outline of one side of his jaw is right here. And if you look, it looks pretty enormous. Well, it is pretty enormous. These animals have a very strong bite. If this were a human, his jaw would be more something like this, a little more refined and coming up and much more thin. And then we have this little, it looks like a bubble down here. It's full of air. That's called their laryngeal air sac. They'll fill all the skin around it. It blows up like a balloon. And then they'll forcibly use that air to make their howling noises, to display to competitors, other males, to display to females, to attract them, to show that they are a suitable mate. We have discovered that little Guillermo loves the mirror. I'm not sure he understands what a mirror is, but he may be thinking that there is another monkey in that little round thing that he plays with and he may be trying to figure out how to interact with that monkey or he may just be admiring how attractive that monkey is. It does, as you can see, it stimulates his mind and it gives him something to do to interact with, something that he enjoys and he is using his mind to try to figure out how to interact with what's in the mirror. He's a very engaging howler monkey.